Hello friends and welcome back to my channel. My name is Brie Bonomo and I'm gonna do a vlog for the first time in forever. <laughs> so it is currently Saturday, June 11th and I am just in my library real quick to grab my chapter outline because I'm about to go meet up with my partner in crime, Caitlin, and we're gonna bang out a rom-com. I don't know if we'll quite finish it today, but I'm feeling very excited because we've been trying to read a little bit more romances and rom-coms and I'm currently reading, I just started Beach Read by Emily Henry and oh my god, is it probably the best comp I've ever seen. Like with my fantasy books, sometimes I have hard time like trying to comp things or think about comps and this is a no-brainer for the rom-com. So I don't know. I wanted to debut as a fantasy author, but maybe you have a romance author about to debut one day soon. <laughs> I mean, maybe not one day soon, but you know what I mean. I just want to check in and start the vlog and I'm going to go get us some coffees at my local favorite coffee shop and then I'm going to go write. So I will check in in a little bit. What's your story? What's your sign? It's like we're twin flames in a different life. Deep connection, lights a spark. It's like you know me in the depths of my heart. We're dreamers. Hello friends, it is Monday, June 13th, and I am doing a quick update from my work office because I have no one here today. It was supposed to be the first day of my summer group program and there were some issues with transportation and because of that, the people who I knew would show up didn't show up because they didn't have the rides and all of my like walkers <laughs> who were gonna like come to the school by walking none of them showed up. So I have zero people here. And I have just been kind of catching up on some paperwork and like organizing things, which isn't a bad thing at all, but I just wanted to quickly take this moment because it's my lunch break and I wanted to check in and let you know how the weekend went. So Kate and I did a ton of writing. Like we got together early-ish, like we got together around 11 a.m. And for the first two hours, we just kind of chatted and caught up with things. We hadn't really talked to each other and it's like in depth in quite some time. And there were just a lot of things we wanted to chat about. So we kind of did that for the first two hours. We drank our coffee. We just had a nice little check-in. And then we kicked it into high gear and we wrote for like four hours together. We ended up doing, I think, three chapters total. We plotted out some things, talked about where we want to go with it, talked about where we want to beef it up. And we're almost sitting at 30,000 words for the first draft. I think we have about eight chapters left to write. And we figured that, you know, for probably be around 40,000 plus, maybe 40 to 50,000, depending on how depth the first draft you know pages go but we know that there's some areas we kind of fast drafted and other areas where we were taking the time and really thinking things through and flushing them out so we're probably going to have about 40 to 50 thousand words in a first draft with some areas that clearly need to be beefed up i think one of the pages was more internalized with my character for eli so i did pretty much like a page and a half <laughs> it was a very short chapter and that was just to get the body out and, and fill it up because I have a very clear idea of what, what scene I want to end on and what scene I want to begin that chapter, but I want to flesh out the beginning a little bit more. So we did a lot of that and I'm really excited. We left off finishing act two and it's their introduction to their big fight. So Harper and Eli are writing a book together based on kind of their agents being sneaky and trying to get them both in good graces like Eli is kind of falling out of favor with 
like the press and Harper is just not able to kind of sell as many copies as she used to so they're kind of trying to get them together to bring out the best in each other and they just had their like major fight so like the inciting incident finally got there where they fought over something and Harper hit a nerve and Eli's just like write the book yourself I'm done and that's where we ended <laughs> so it's a very good chapter to end on very like wants want I want to finish writing it so I'm gonna try to write that chapter probably today. I didn't really do anything yesterday on the 12th, which was Sunday. I honestly gamed a lot in the day and I think that kind of burned me out because by the time I hit Sunday night, I was just tired and I didn't want to do anything else. So I didn't. I did, I did have to do something for one of my classes, my internship class. I just had to do like a two page like goal statement. So I did that last night and then, uh, so technically writing, but not what I want to write. <laughs> and I read a little bit. Um, I'm currently, I received an arc called Dirty Lying Fairies. It's kind of, it's an adult novel that kind of reminds me of like The Cruel Prince meets Twilight. <laughs> um, I don't know. I think it's going to be really campy. It's already super campy in my opinion, but I'm kind of having fun with it. So especially coming off of my Twilight reread, I feel like maybe that's why it seems so twilighty to me, but yeah, I'm having a good time, but I've only a couple of chapters in. I just keep falling asleep when I try to read it. I've tried to read it over the weekend multiple times and I like passed out and then woke up and I was like, oh, I'm reading. So that's kind of my check-in for the day. But yeah, the weekend was productive and I'm really excited about my rom-com. And then the rest of this week, I'm also hoping to write a little bit more of Mermaid. So. Talk to you guys sound later. and off. You're the likes of Hassan Piker tweeting. Sometimes you gotta just forget to open the U-Haul doors in a hot summer day when there's 20 Nazis in there. But possibly one of the more concerning things with the reactions is this narrative. Very productive here this evening <laughs> as Diane takes a bite. <laughs> Hello friends. It is Thursday. I don't even know. Thursday, June 16th. I just checked in yesterday and I already forgot. I guess I didn't really check in, check in, but I kind of had a quick vlog of writing with some of my wonderful author tube friends. And I did want to just take a second to close out this vlog. I want to just say that, you know, this week has been actually a very good week. Personally, it was kind of stressful with my job. There were a lot of things that were kind of unknown that were pertinent to my job, such as the fact that I am supposed to have a summer group program for the kids I work with. And up until this week, which the program started this week, I didn't have transportation until yesterday, which meant the one like Monday was supposed to be the start of the program and it was canceled because no one could get there. And then we weren't confirmed on food. So I had no food, I had to go buy food myself. And I was kind of stressed because I found a local organization to provide meals for us. But the people that I work with in a different program who's in the same building as me, they were not very forthcoming with agreeing to go get the meals. And it just kind of baffled me. But all of that was really stressing me out. And to be honest, my sleep schedule has been terrible. I don't know what has been going on. Maybe it's because I've been having caffeine a little bit later in the day, but I've been sleeping terribly. And last night in particular was rough because we ended up having a thunderstorm that woke me up. Uh, I woke up sweating at one point despite having the air conditioner on. And then I woke up to use the bathroom. It was just like one thing after another. So I'm functioning right now, but I think it's going to be an early night. It's currently 2.42. I do have to go in for some of my internship sessions and I'll be leaving shortly, but I think it's going to be quite an early night. But aside from the work drama and having a lot of cancellations for my internship, making me kind of panic about my hours again, I am starting to feel better. It is Thursday. I have a very fun weekend planned. 
I got to kind of work from home most of the day today, which I've, that's becoming far and few between because of my internship. And like, I feel like my house is kind of getting finally some semblance of order. I feel like I say that in every time I upload and I'm yet to get there, but I, I, it's starting to feel good again. And there's definitely more work to be done always, but overall I'm feeling in a really good headspace. And partly I think that is because of all the writing I got to do this week. So I ended up doing quite a few chapters in my rom-com with my co-writer Caitlin. We ended on a, a chapter that Kate's character would be doing. So I've kind of written up to my point, but we were gonna kind of co-write because we've been doing where like, even though it's like in one of their headspaces, like the when my character would respond, I would type that out and vice versa. So it's been a really fun experience to write this book and I'm just really loving where it's going. In addition, um, me and Kate are in a like quad kind of role play. There's four of us that role play and that's been also going really well. I like it's my writer brain and my like will my desire to publish would find this idea so appealing to become a book but I know that's not what we're doing the RP for. But despite that, it is such a fun relief. I It's definitely been helping me stay creative because I can respond pretty much like once a day to once every couple of days, depending on how chaotic our lives have been, if not more times per day. And it's just been really nice to kind of progress that story. That's actually like a witch story where it's kind of like a witch mystery story where our characters all kind of have different backgrounds and they end up getting forced to come together because the magic in their community has just completely dissipated and no one can do magic so they're trying to figure out like why they all met at the same time that magic disappeared and what that means so it's so fun it's just fun to have a free writing with like no intention to publish it just to have fun i have not done that in a really long time so it's been really great and i've done quite a lot of responses in that this week as you saw last night i was also working with autumn ashley kayla kempers and diane marie i will leave them linked down below because they're my girls but we got to do some writing last night we ended up talking for an hour before we started writing which is i knew that was going to happen we always do that we're chatty but it was really nice just to catch up with them. And then I ended up doing about an hour's worth of writing anyway. And I got through two chapters of Project Mermaid. So I have been doing, I wrote 19 full chapters and the start of chapter 20 in Project Mermaid. I'm about over 40,000 words into it. And I took uh, over a year break of writing that. <laughs> so I was refreshing my kind of ideas and I decided that I was going to just go through and reread what I've already written. Kind of edit it but not really. It was more of just to make sure that I'm still aligned and I was able to take some notes last night. I was super like kind of on top of things because I didn't have much up until chapter 8 but chapter 8 and chapter 9 there were two plot threads that I do want to make sure that I keep hitting because I think I forgot about one of them and I was like I need to bring this back up because it's kind of like it's subtle but it can be a huge implication and I don't want that to fall away so I'm really glad I'm doing this simultaneously I've been also as I'm rereading it I've been creating a rough draft for the synopsis because I figured it's much easier to do that as I'm going, as I've learned. <laughs> and it's true. It's definitely a lot easier to write the synopsis as I'm editing the chapter. So I've been editing, like I've been reading through and editing one chapter, writing like a line or two about that chapter for the synopsis, and then taking notes as I go along. Because ultimately, once I get to chapter 20, I'm going to outline the rest of the book and I'm gonna finish it. And I got through two chapters last night. Chapter eight is probably the best thing I've ever written. And I'm not trying to sound conceited, but it is such a good chapter. Like a lot of intrigue and ha like happens. You're introduced to a character who is still kind of mysterious. I really like the dialogue between the two characters. I really like the little lines. I feel like I have a lot of good like noteworthy lines in there that like I can see people quoting and putting on things so I that I don't know that might sound conceited but it's I feel like being a writer we don't often give ourselves enough credit when we do write something good and it's so easy to just tear ourselves down and to think we're not good enough and to be honest I want to publish so I need to believe in myself and I need to think I'm good and that chapter 
that was good. <laughs> chapter nine was a good chapter too. Um, it just didn't have as it's a good chapter, but it wasn't as like, oh my god, I love this chapter as I did chapter eight. And it chapter nine was more progression. That's where I kind of drop some kind of hints about something. But I like I said, I don't know if I'm ever gonna get back to it. I think I have a way to do so, but I want to read the rest. So overall, it was just a productive week. The only thing missing was the fact that I didn't get to meet with Kelly to talk about our book because she was sick this week, which is fine. She needs her rest. But I am excited to be able to work with her a little bit next week and keep plotting our co-written project that we intend, which is kind of crazy. We intend to do it for Nano July, Camp Nano, and that's in two weeks. I can't even fathom this, that it's like we've been planning this book for a couple months now and it's going to be here. So, wild. But yeah, I, I'm pretty impressed that I have worked in multiple projects this week. And I'm keeping them all straight. And in addition, I am I started two books. <laughs> I started a fairy book called Dirty Lying Fairies, which is, it's a Wattpad novels book. Like that's where their imprint is. And it is kind of campy, but I'm enjoying it. I've said that already in this video. And I also started Beach Read, which is a romance. And I'm just, I'm just all here for the chill vibes. I was trying to start to read Empire of the Vampire, but it's very dense and I don't think I I don't think I can jump into the audiobook immediately. I think I'm going to have to read a few chapters physically and then go into the audiobook because it's so dense that I cannot focus when I'm listening to it and I feel like I'm getting lost very easily. So I think I need to read the first couple chapters to get introduced to the characters and understand them and then maybe jump into the audiobook. But that's going to be on pause. I'm supposed to have that done for my book club at the end of the month and I don't know if it's gonna happen so we'll see but anywho thank you for listening to my ramblings let me know how your week's going and how your creative projects are doing if you're starting anything new or if you're also doing Camp Nano let me know so otherwise guys thanks so much for watching and until next time I'll see you then